Welcome to my YouTube channel guys. So today, as my title says, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put a fan to dissipate heat from under your TV stand if you have any. This is my TV stand that I have here. And as you can see, I have an Xbox and a PS4. And, and I'm using this, uh, this fan right here to bring up heat, um, to bring up cool air. As you can see, this one intakes and this one exhaust heat from inside the, the console and it helps tremendously since I have a closed door uh, TV stand. So uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that with mostly all the stuff that you have in your house. So you probably have a computer and it's an old computer that's probably sitting in your garage or your attic or wherever it is, a storage. So I'm gonna be using pretty much everything that you have in your house so it's gonna be easier for you guys to do it. So anybody can do it. So I'm gonna be using a, a scissors, normal scissors, electrical tape if you have any or a normal tape from a dollar store or um, how do we say it the uh, um, double-sided tape as well so you can stick it on under and uh, but if, if, if you don't have any hole under your my TV stand had holes to mount it but if you don't have it you have to make a little bit of a hole there but it, it's in uh, the back side of the TV stand is pretty much a cardboard it's not really hard so you can use a um, you have to cut a little bit open and then just exhaust these. You don't have to put two fans. You don't have to put an intake and an outtake uh, or an exhaust, but you can put um, just an exhaust to just bring the heat uh, out and it's gonna draw in um, a cold air from the crevices or somewhere, but you're, you're, you'll be able to to, um, to exhaust heat. So um, let me show you guys how to do without uh, going too far. I hope you guys like it. If you guys like the video, please hit the, the like button. If you didn't like it, please comment and tell me how I can better my uh, better my uh, this video. So, I well, hope you guys will like it. All right, guys. So, like I said uh, before, uh, you're gonna you, we can use everything that you have in your house. All you need for this project is um, electrical tape if you have one at home. So, if you don't have an electrical tape, like I mentioned, you can use anything from your house. So, you can use a normal scotch tape from a dollar store. And you can use that also. You can also use, uh, like I said, any if you have an old um, computer, um, old computer that you have in your home that's in, in your attic or collecting dust or in your garage or in the storage, go there, go grab your, your computer CPU fan or your computer fan. And uh, like this one has uh, three wires, so you can, as you can see, uh, I cut uh, this one off because I don't need the yellow one, so it comes with a red. A black and a yellow or a red yellow black and the black one is usually a negative and the, uh, the red one also usually a positive so uh, you, like I said anything that you may have in your house and you, you need an adapter uh, just like that an adapter um, from a cordless phone we just this what I got it from a cordless phone but the other one that I, my other fan is using a, a modem a modem phone, a modem uh, adapter that I didn't use anymore. So I took it, I took it, and I just uh, cut the the input, uh, the AC input that goes into the to the modem, and then that's pretty much it. So all you have to do is just splice it. So the scissors is just used to splice the wires. Uh, as you can see, this one is also spliced, but I I want it long, so I don't want it to be too short. So I'm not gonna re-splice this, but I'm gonna show you guys how to splice. Um, I'll show you guys how to re uh, splice it. And then what we do, we're gonna use the, the tape just to, to, to protect the, the wires from touching each other. And if you, you can use, also use this uh, to protect from, uh, from each other. And you also need a plug. Like I said, this is, the power is not too strong or is not, the voltage coming out of this is not too strong on the amp to, to give you an electric shock. But yeah, be careful, but it's not gonna, nothing's ever, nothing bad is gonna ever happen because of this ad adapter it doesn't allow too much uh, direct current or AC. Uh, direct current to, to shock you so just put it uh, use it only when you're when you're done splicing so you can test if you're not sure what where uh, which one is positive or just one is which one is negative so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about um, um, this one so usually the the one for the modem it, it's a black wire uh, usually on the black wire when you look on it the one that has written on it the, the one that has written stuff on it is usually the negative one so they have the one side you see there's like a white strip uh, white paint white paint white paint and then it's like all over the one side of the of the wire like that Usually it's the negative part and the one that has nothing on it usually is the positive side you will see on uh, usually on black um, black uh, adapters um, Some white one does have uh, written uh, stuff written on it that shows you uh, that hey, well usually it is the negative 
um, is, is the negative um, part of the of the water. So I'm gonna show you guys how to how to how to use this first remove the, the safety. So to cut this, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys. Don't, don't cut it like that, or don't. You can use you can do this little by little. You, you can take your scissors if you don't have any tools. Like I'm not gonna use any tools to show you guys because I'm using stuff that you guys may have at home. Uh, so anybody can do it. So you're gonna, you're gonna be using the, the tape to even put this on, on the back there. So so everything is gonna be things that you have at home. So you can do this all the way back, or you can do this. Look, look at the way I'm doing it. And I'm taking my scissors and I'm forcing my scissors to go over it without cutting it. I'm picking my scissors up and I'm doing this and then I'm pushing it. I lifted my scissor up over the wire and I pushed it. What happened is when I lift that and I push it, it creates a little cut, as you, as you can see here, here, it creates a little cut. That doesn't cut the, with the copper wire inside. So after when I'm done, if I want, I can use my nails. It's just pry it, it's not that hard. Just using my nails and then cry it. Or if you want, you just slip the little, the little white part here, the little, just little uh, plastic here. Just slip it just a little bit, you know, you hear it. Turn around, there's one, there's a little bit here too. And then it's gonna be easier, see? And the only thing that you do in the, in the next is your nails. That's pretty much it. Do the same, take it, put it halfway, lift it, and push your scissors. Okay, and then use the side. Just to cut the white part. Little part that's left. Careful, so you don't cut the copper wire. Using your nails, again, and you see it's exposed. Take it and you slide it. That's it. If you want, you can you can keep it open, or if you want, you can twist it together. All right, I'm, I'm gonna twist it. I'm gonna twist it. Okay, so it looks like this. So. Now it comes to this. You're not sure which one is positive or negative. Doesn't matter. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to play with it around and see. So plug it in. Plug it in right here. So it's live now. So put your signal on the side. So you have your wires. Separate the two. And both are standing. Perfect. So you try one. It doesn't work. So you know you have to switch it around. So we tried this. Look, it doesn't, it doesn't turn. It doesn't turn. So we switch the wires around and you touch it. See? See? So when you put it, we know that this is right. So we're gonna twist it just like that. Just like that for now. We put it on the side, we take it, we twist this one. See? Starts to twist. Starts to turn on. See? So we don't really need the yellow wire. That it's, that's right here. All I need, we don't really need the yellow wire here. All I need is my red and black. Positive and negative. That's it. Okay? So that's it. One, you can unplug this, now that you know that you have the right uh, place. So twist it properly again. Take it again, twist it. So you're, it's well on, it won't come off. Twist it, twist it. Okay. Careful, because this one can, this, this can poke you actually. I'm gonna use an like, electrical tape. Okay. Okay. If you want, you can cut your electrical tape or you can just apply it on. Just make it simple. But you can cut it or you can just put it and apply it on. So you see, as you see, I did it on the top so I can close this end. And I'll just do this. Do it the way you can. Do it the way you, you're comfortable with. You're just, you're just trying to remove exposed wire. 
just, you, don't, you just don't want the, the wires to be exploded. That's it. If, if you want to be a little bit more safer, just cut a little bit. Just take a, like I said, it's not, uh, the, the current coming out of the adapter is not too strong, but yeah, be safe. So this is how it's gonna be. And the edge, and it's closed. And this one too. So you take the positive, you put it like that, and you twist it. All the way on it. See, it's well twisted. And twist it again, over, without making it smaller. Like, I, like this. Take an electrical tape. If you want, like I said, you can apply it right away. Or if you want to make it easier, cut it off. Put it on the top, exposing just a little bit of tape on the top so you can close that end. And then, so you can close the end like that. There's nothing here. And you put, you put it on it. Just like that. See, there's no wires exposed here and the bottom is also closed and like I said if you want this is just extra just a little tape just for the bottom here just is just, just, just extra you don't need to okay so now it looks like this so now when you put it on you have your fan it turns on see so as soon as you so if you don't want to use it, you unplug it you can use a switch as well, just connect your switch. I'll show you guys uh, how to do that in another video. But as you can see, uh, I'm gonna unplug it. So now, next step is to to uh, attach on your, under your, um, under your TV stand to, to bring uh, cold air in. All right, that's pretty much it. So, uh, like I said, turn off your uh, Xbox. Um, turn everything off so you can remove the the whole uh, the whole system safely, so you can have space to work under there. Okay. I said I want this to be facing this way because I want uh, uh, air to come in side of things so what I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using this double-sided tape this is also a gorilla double-sided tape also a gorilla double-sided tape if I need it but if, if you have a double-sided tape any double-sided tape you can use it I'm using the one from a dollar store so you lift it up okay it's like a bunch of I put it on the top, not put it on the bottom. So, put one that goes here. Okay, I'm not gonna remove this yet. Here, just, just for strength. So three is fine. So three little dots are all over the thing if you want. It's fine. This is just to help you be able to stick it in there. Okay. I'll show you guys. Okay. So now I'm gonna remove it. Sorry. Okay. 
So where I'm gonna put it? So I can see this is yeah, there's water is there. So I'm gonna go over it. But before you do that, I, f I forgot to tell you guys. You can put this on the floor. It's gonna be fine. Take the adapter, fish it through. See the adapter, fish it. Through. the TV and pull it pull it a pull a little bit on it so it doesn't doesn't get it and I have it right here okay push it through So every, all the stickers are out. So I want to keep this one at the bottom. Gotta do. Go all the way out the corner. Go all the way out the corner. I'm pressing down the cables. Sorry, I'm going. All right. If you guys can see it. Just turn on the light. All right, guys. So everything is done. So I have my exhaust. Um, I have my exhaust air here, and my intake air here, and my PS4. Uh, my PS. I mean. My Xbox is on. Um, I guess you can see it. It just turned on. Everything is fine. Um, as you can see, everything works perfectly. And this would honestly um, help you a lot. You will see the difference uh, when you have this and when you didn't have a fan. So, like I said, if you don't have it, you have to create a little bit of. You have to cut your. Uh, these ones are very easy to cut. They're very thin. Uh, they're thin on the back everything to cut so you have to cut a little bit of hole to bring air to, to so you can put the fan there to bring air in if you want to you can just exa uh, exhaust air out if, if, if you want but it would tremendously help your consoles or if you have any device like a like a home theater or whatever it is it will help it a lot so to not overheat and it will give you uh, honestly giving you um, much more um, efficient it will make it more efficient your Xbox and not make the fan ramp up and heat will be just circling inside the system it will, it will, it will make your xbox uh, stay longer all right so i hope you guys like the, the video if it's too long I'm, I'm sorry about that guys i wanted to show you guys that it's possible to do it on your own it's possible to do it with a little bit of chura uh, all right guys